Hey everybody, it's Brandon, your skincare researcher and ingredient investigator. Today's a really exciting day because I got a gift from Stylevana. Stylevana is billed as a just one-stop online shop to purchase the trendiest Asian fashion and beauty products. They came to me after I posted my Yes Style haul of my Korean and Japanese sunscreens. They sent me a box of I think like five or six hydrating, full hydrating items to review on my channel. I'm going to unbox them here. It's going to be sort of a style on a haul of Korean hydrating moisturizing products. I'm really excited to try these, but I kind of wanted to just give a shout out to Stylevana again for sending me these products. They're not paying me to review this. This is a unbiased review. So I'm going to be as honest as I can, and I'm going to try them out for you as well. And also just so you know, Stylevana gave me a coupon code that I can give out to you guys that will give you 10 up to 15% off of select products on their website. And the coupon code is down below right here, as well as in the description box. I've also linked all the items that I am reviewing in this video down in the description box. And just as a disclaimer, I do get 5% commissions off of this coupon code. So if you use it, thank you so much. Okay, so the first product that I really, really am excited about is the Misha Time Revolution, the first treatment essence RX Pro Ferment. This is a full five ounce bottle. It's a fermented yeast extract essence, I think. I think it might be maybe like a toner essence. I don't know. Let's let's try it out, shall we? I've seen a lot of the Misha products reviewed on online on YouTube. I know I think Dr. Dre has reviewed them. I think maybe Hiram has as well. <gasps> Ooh, oh my gosh, this looks really nice. I love the packaging. It is glass. Thankfully, I didn't break it. This is just like all the other products in here. This is a Korean product, but I, oh my gosh, I love this packaging so much. Okay, before I actually try this on my skin, I just wanted to go do like a rundown of the ingredients. It says that there's no parabens, no alcohols, which is nice. Okay, so the first ingredient is yeast ferment extract. I was reading earlier about studies showing that yeast ferment extract in mouse melanoma cells inhibited uh, melanogenesis. So, you know, yeast ferment extract may be a potential topical promising agent for skin whitening or brightening and driving down hyperpigmentation. And also I was reading some studies on, or at least one study on PubMed showing that uh, probiotic fermentation of some leaf extracts, not yeast extracts, it's just sort of an, an aside. I'm not sure if it can generalize to yeast extracts, but it can actually help to inhibit UVB radiation damage on the skin. UVB, ultraviolet B, burns the skin, it causes a sunburn, but it also drives skin cancer risk, um, as well as collagen de degradation and skin aging. Ultraviolet A is more of the aging ray that you have to be concerned about, but UVB, UVA, the broad spectrum you should be concerned about, and having that agent, a, an adjunctive agent like that may potentially help. Again, that was with uh, leaf extracts, not yeast extracts, so it may not generalize, but it's definitely an important note to, to take in. And finally, I found one study showing that fermented yeast extract, an in vivo study, so just applying it on the skin, on human skin, actually improved skin moisture and hydration. So this is actually, I'm really excited about this product, especially since the first ingredient is yeast extract. Um, I'm really excited about, you know, potentially helping to improve skin hydration. My skin is already a little bit on the dry side, so I definitely have to make sure that I'm moisturizing it every single day. And that includes both my sunscreen application during the morning, as well as my nighttime application of like something like the Ordinary Moisturizer, which I really liked and have reviewed on this channel as well. Okay, so it also has niacinamide. Niacinamide can also help to increase skin brightness and reduce redness and oiliness. And there's also some evidence to suggest that niacinamide can help to reduce the visible signs of aging, namely wrinkles and fine lines. Ooh, it also has rice extract. So rice extract has exhibited antioxidant qualities. And antioxidants are basically anything that can just scavenge free radicals and oxidative damage from things like the sun, pollution, etc. Rice extract can also increase skin lightness. Rice extract may also increase skin hydration and help to retain hydration in the skin and preventing transepidermal water loss or the evaporation of moisture in the skin. And rice extract can also help with skin lightness as well as elasticity and just and overall just help to reduce that you know accelerated visible signs of aging again again along with your sunscreen and everything that you're doing to sort of prevent that accelerated aging having these adjunctive measures 
may potentially be helpful according to the research that we have available now. Okay, I think the final ingredient in here that I have never used before is pearl powder. Pearl powder extract? No, just regular pearl powder. I found maybe two or three studies showing that pearl powder also has antioxidant capabilities and may increase skin hydration as well. And there's some evidence to suggest that it may uh, inhibit UVB induced dermatitis. This isn't medical advice by any means, so definitely see your healthcare provider if you have any sort of illness or disease or skin disorder. But yeah, it was just an interesting study that I found that I will link below. I'll, I'll link all the studies down below. But this toner or essence definitely looks like it could be extremely helpful for skin hydration. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it, shall we? Oh, it has like a very tiny uh, outlet. I don't want to say the H word, but <laughs> yeah, it's... Anyway, um, so hopefully it won't come off out... Yeah, it comes out as very tiny droplets, which is nice. It definitely will help to save the product. I'm sure I won't use a ton of this. It will probably last me quite a while, considering not much comes out of it, which is nice. Yeah, gives a nice luminosity. Now it is watery, so I would assume that you, in order to improve hydration, you definitely want to apply an occlusive moisturizer over the product. So just let it dry down just a, a tad and then apply a moisturizer over it just to lock in the extra hydration that you're getting from this. Let me actually try and dab a little on my face. I don't have a moisturizer though, so. Ooh, it actually feels really nice. It's like cool water. Mmm. Oh, 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 oh. I'm actually applying this over the dermatology tinted sunscreen right now, so. Nice. I really like that. That feels really nice. Yeah, great essence. I'm going to use this for probably about a month and then I will report back with a review and just let you know just sort of how, just sort of my own case study of how it's potentially maybe increase my hydration or skin skin hydration levels. I'm really, really excited to try this. Okay, up next is a revitalizing sleep mask. Beauty of Joseon. So I assume this is a nighttime moisturizer that I can apply at night. It comes in a nice jar. I really like the design as well for this one. And it also comes with this like scoop so you can scoop it out. Now before, again, before I try this, I'll actually apply it over the the the, the Misha yeast fermented extract essence. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and just look at the ingredients. So we have water, glycerin, which is a humectant. So that'll just bind to water and help to increase skin hydration. Um, niacinamide again, which helps to reduce bright, uh, redness and helps to brighten the skin and reduce oiliness, may potentially be a good anti-aging ingredient. Lots of uh, nice nourishing oils as well. So if you are sensitive to oils or you have acne prone skin, I'm not sure if this will be a great product for you. I can't say for sure, everyone is different, but it has things like castor oil and sesame seed extract, jojoba oil. Now this also has fragrance. I see it's it's down below, like close to the end of the list. There's ginger extract and ginger extract has anti-inflammatory properties. So inflammation drives a lot of skin dis uh, disorders. Again, this isn't medical advice. It's just based upon what's in the literature. Uh, inflammation, there's also a role of inflammation in skin aging. Interesting is that it has urea. Urea is a compound that can actually help to in improve skin barrier function as well as increase skin hydration. Let's go ahead and try it out and see how, what it looks like. Yeah, you can definitely, you can definitely smell. It smells really nice, like very floral and you can definitely smell it. I mean, and it kind of feels like the texture of almost like thick, this is gonna sound weird, but almost like thick jello. Here's what it looks like. It's, it's almost, yeah, it's almost translucent. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh God. You guys, I'm sorry. It's almost translucent. Let's go ahead and scoop some out and then I'll put some on my face and we'll try it. It's almost like a gummy texture, I think. So let me just apply this over my, my skin. Oh, that's a lot actually. Yeah, a, a little goes a long way. It looks like this product will probably last me just as long as the Misha product because you don't need a ton of it. It definitely feels really hydrating though. 
it smells really nice. Like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Even though I try to do fragrance free as much as possible, it smells really, really nice. Mmm, yum, flowery. Yeah, I will try using this as well. It's another Korean hydrating product. I'll try using this at night. I'm not sure if it has enough occlusive action. But again, just like the Misha product, it feels very nice going on the skin. I'm interested to know if any one of you has tried the Revitalize Sleep Mask. Uh, how did it work for you? I'm interested in actually looking at the reviews online, maybe on Stylevana they have reviews. Okay, so the next hydrating product we have is the B Plain Bamboo Hydrating Ampoule Focus. Looks like it's a 30 millimeter bottle, glass bottle. So it tells you to soothe your face with toner first, apply twice daily in the morning and evening, and follow with a moisturizer of your choice. So it's probably like a like an essence or a serum as well that you need to apply a moisturizer over. Let's see, what makes this hydrating? So it has, oh, so the first ingredient is 80% bamboo water. There's some preliminary evidence to suggest that bamboo water can actually have wound healing abilities. Again, this isn't medical advice. Go to your healthcare provider. Disclaimer down below, as well as also anti-inflammatory effects on the skin and also anti-melanogenic effects. So similar to the Misha, uh, skin brightening essence can actually help to maybe potentially brighten your skin. And bamboo water also has antioxidant capabilities, so it can potentially help to fight reactive oxygen species and oxi oxidative stress from the sun or just, you know, the natural oxidative stress that our body produces day to day. And oxidative stress, free radical damage, you know, drives aging as well. So having those extra protective factors, those antioxidants, you know, as long as they're stable, which it's hard to tell. It may potentially be helpful for anti-aging. Side note, uh, bamboo salt also has anti- I don't know if this generalizes to bamboo water, but bamboo salt, um, Korean bamboo salt, also has uh, activities against MMP9 and 2, so matrix metalloproteinases 9 and 2, which are enzymes in the skin that degrade collagen. So I'm not sure if that generalizes to bamboo water, but it's definitely an interesting note. It looks like it also contains Ceramides, wow. So ceramides also help to strengthen the skin barrier and help to improve skin hydration and p may potentially play a role in anti-aging. As as, you, as uh, time goes on, the ceramides in your skin that are naturally produced by your skin decrease. And these, these ceramides are basically subclasses of lipids that help to support the skin hydration and skin barrier and skin integrity. So having topical application of ceramides can be definitely be very important. Okay, so here's the serum. It's a gel-like consistency. Very jelly. I was expecting more of like a sort of an oily serum in a, in, a, in a way. I'm going to try this. I'm just gonna put this on my hand. I like these ingredients. They're, they are not wasteful at all because you can get just a little bit out. Like it's not that much, but really with these products, a little goes a long way. So I could see these products lasting me for months. Like again, like the, the Misha, or um, toner essence, that's gonna last me for months and months and months. Oh, nice. That's really wet. There's no real fragrance. I don't think there's fragrance added. Let me just make sure. Hey, there's actually caffeine in this. So topical ca caffeine can potentially help provide sort of a transient or, uh, you know, not not permanent effect on sort of restricting the, or, or helping to improve the, the lines on uh, underneath the eyes and help to provide sort of a, a, a potential or temporary lift to the, to the under eyes and, you know, possibly help to make it look brighter. Again, transiently, I mean, it's, it doesn't last forever. I mean, but topical caffeine is definitely a, a good ingredient to look into. I'm gonna look, need to look into that a little bit more. I don't have any research on that. I actually like the serum a lot. I'm gonna try this tonight. Maybe put it on my face in addition to a, a moisturizer on top. I have a lot of products that I'm gonna be putting on my, on, on my face tonight. I probably shouldn't, you know, combine all these products. I feel like more products just leads to irritation. But let me just apply the serum, the bamboo water on the skin. Ooh. Looks good. It's hard to tell, but it feels really nice as well. It's definitely more, it's definitely, you know, it looks like a gel and it comes out like a gel, but when you start applying it, 
it becomes a lot more like watery and the, and the viscosity of it sort of decreases when you when you rub it out. Okay, so I have an interesting product here that I've seen online, I've seen on YouTube as well. It's a 24 karat gold premium brightening and anti-wrinkle cosmetics first cream. I guess it's like a cream that has 24 karat gold nanoparticles. Now in my research, I wasn't able to find a ton of information on gold and its effects on the skin. I think that many proponents claim that it has anti antioxidant and anti-inflammatory components. So again, helps to fight uh, the aging process and the, the drivers of aging like inflammation, uh, oxidation. But I couldn't find a lot of research backing or supporting this and I couldn't find a lot of research suggesting that gold can effectively penetrate the stratum corneum or the the skin barrier. Now this moisturizer also, or cream I guess, um, also contains squalene which is a triterpene. Squalene is found in the skin surface but it declines over time and that can lead to dry skin. Topically, squ topically applied squalene can act as an emollient as well as an antioxidant. So this kind of has like a fragrance as well. I wonder if there's fragrance added. Yeah the very last ingredient is fragrance. It is a long list of ingredients though so it's probably not, it's definitely not high up on there. Do you see all those ingredients on there? Again, it is a fragrance containing product, so you know, that's not great. Now this has a lot of oils in it as well, so if you have acne prone skin or if you're very sensitive to skin oils, you definitely want to make sure that you are being prudent in your application of this, or you may want to steer clear and go for a, just sort of a non-oil, oily moisturizer, which I'm, sh I'm sure Stylevana sells quite a bit of those as well. So this doesn't have a spatula, I'm just like digging my dirty fingers in here. This doesn't have a spatula, but I definitely want to show you what it looks like. I mean, it's just like a white <laughs> moisturizer. I don't even know why I'm showing. It's not even focusing. Come on. Focus. Please. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's just a white moisturizer. I'll go ahead and apply it. Again, a little goes a long way with these products. I cannot tell you how amazing that is like i think I'll, i would i'll probably use this up as well i i'm never one to waste products um even though it has fragrance in it i'll probably use it up or um or gift it to somebody this could definitely even though it's like i don't even know it's a 1.7 1.76 ounce or 50 gram net weight i could see this lasting for months as well. Okay, so the second to last product is the Dr. Vita Clinic Free C Sun Lotion SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 or PA4 plus. So this is a Korean chemical sunscreen. It contains all chemical UV filters like homosalate as well as Uvenol T150, which is a good uh, UV UVB filter. I think it also contains avabenzone, which is a UVA filter that's approved here in the United States. It isn't highly stable, but it definitely is effective as well as two forms of bimotrizinol, which is a another UV filter. So it's awesome that it contains a, a mixture of many, several different forms of chemical filters, not like sort of like the Purito, I, I filmed that video, that, that Purito scam, like scam scandal, where it's just two primary chemical filters that, you know, lo and behold, research shows doesn't provide the SPF that's on the label. I would assume that since these have more than two chemical filters and probably in higher concentrations, that it's gonna provide, uh, you know, SPF 50 plus for a, you know, what it's marketed as. So this actually contains fragrance as well. So that's not that's not terrific, especially for a sunscreen. Um, you don't want fragrance compounds interacting with sunlight. Fragrance compounds are extremely volatile. So, you know, it can cause reactions to people going outside, interacting with UV. It's not, it's not a great combination, but it smells nice, so. <laughs> now, this sunscreen contains turmeric extract, which is um, highly anti-inflammatory as well. It's another anti-inflammatory ingredient, which is awesome. And it contains Centella Asiatic, Asiatica extract, which was also in the Purito sunscreen that I talked about in my previous Purito scam video. I really like Centella Asiatica extract because it has anti-inflammatory and anti-glycation properties. Glycation is basically when glucose interacts with a protein and degrades the protein like collagen. So, you know, it can potentially be a really good anti-aging ingredient to have in a sunscreen coupled with just the filters that are, you know, naturally anti-aging. It's a good ingredient to have. Okay, so let me just go ahead and try this sunscreen. I mean, just basically just your average everyday sunscreen. I can't tell you how many ingredients I have on my skin right now. 
I probably shouldn't be applying them all like this. I'm gonna have, I feel like I'm gonna have, I hope I don't have a reaction. My skin's pretty durable, but I don't generally apply a ton of products on onto it. I think I've had a reaction once where I applied like three different sunscreens on top of each other. So hopefully that doesn't happen now because I still have like three or four videos I have to film <laughs> after this. Okay, so now this has fragrance as well, but I'll probably again use this up. I I try not to be wasteful with the products that I, I get because I really, you know, they will work against the sun. They will work for hydration, um, even though they have fragrance in them. I, I want to use things up. I don't want to waste things because, you know, that's just more, more waste in the landfill quicker. So, okay. Last but not least is a mask sheet, an ampule mask sheet. It's a very hydrating sheet that contains, again, Centella Asiatica leaf extract, which again is anti-inflammatory, anti-glycation properties, potentially, according to the research we have now. And it has the ability to soothe your sensitive skin with hyaluronic acid complex, which is a really good, powerful humectant that binds to water, increases water and hydration in your skin and leads to a moisturized skin. So I wonder how many sheets come in this. Oh, wow. The first ingredient is water, but the second ingredient is Centella Asiatica leaf extract. So it's very high up on the list. It says 10%. Let me see if I can actually open this. I haven't, I have a hard time. Do you, you know, there's like clear stickers on products. I have a hard time opening them even with like when my fingernails get long. Okay, finally got it open. <laughs> It looks like it has five sheets in the box. The brand is Cisa Live, C-I-C-A Live. It feels really wet. I don't know, moist, a lot of moisture in here. Yeah, definitely. It says apply for 10 to 20 minutes. I'll probably apply this in my weekend vlog that I'm filming today. And you can just sort of, I'll just sort of extend this <laughs> this review. I plan on doing a an individual review of all these items subsequently after after this video, just so you can know how they all turned out. I'm especially interested in how the Pro Ferment Misha product is going to work and just improving the overall moisture and skin barrier of my skin. That was that was redundant, but you know what I mean. So again, I want to thank Style Vana for sending me these products. I cannot wait to see how they improve my, my skin function and my skin barrier integrity and just the overall moisture and quality of my skin. Again, I am putting a coupon code down below. It's active until February 28th, to, uh, 2021, I believe. It'll give you 15% off select brands like Purito as well as Frutia. And overall, it'll give you 10% off of every other item on the on the Style Vana website. I put the coupon code down below and the 10 to 15 percent range just describing you know what's 10 percent off what's 15 percent off and again i get a five percent commission from that coupon code so thank you so much if you decide to purchase anything and let me know down below if you have tried any of these korean skincare products what's your favorite i really am interested in hearing you know what should i be reviewing on my channel in my next video i'm really excited to to just sort of share and, and go into this you know whole new universe and world that i am just now kind of entering i'm kind of late in the game here i'm really excited and i can't wait to to learn more thank you for joining me today i had a lot of fun just reviewing these products and looking and diving deep into the research and the ingredient list of, of all these products. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you wanna stay tuned for more skincare products, more Asian inspired skincare product reviews, as well as deeper dives into the research of your favorite skincare products, please do hit the subscribe button down below. Join this community that we have going on here and hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified of new videos. Again, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you later. Bye.